Crazy Horse Memorial began in 1948 at the request of Lakota elders. They invited sculptor Korchuk Julkowski to tell the story of Crazy Horse on a mountain in South Dakota. Korchuk is no longer with us, but his dreams live on, as does the legend of Crazy Horse, through the help of his family and through the help of generous people like you. Very lucky today at Crazy Horse. Not every day do you get to witness a blast. It's all about timing, life's about timing, but today we were fortunate we got to see a blast and Kevin joins us here and you're one of the engineers on the blast. That's correct. Now you've been with Crazy Horse for how long? I started here in 1991 as, as one of the guys uh, you know, hanging on a rope carving the face up there. And okay, so today, what does it take to make a blast like that happen? It looked very successful to us. It was very successful. That moved um, you know, nearly nearly 2,000 tons of rock off the mountain, I guess. It's a big blast. Uh, it is. Now, what does it mean for you to work on this? Oh, this is, this is a special place. Um, you know, I, I guess we go home at the end of the day feeling like maybe this is worthwhile. It's a fun job, and, uh, and I hope it'll make a difference to some people over the years. I'm sure it will. I'm with Rolla here, who's the administrative vice president of this Amazingly impressive facility, Crazy Horse Memorial. Thanks for having us today. My uh, pleasure. Nice what to a, be here. What a great facility. Before we talk about the facility, let's go back all the way to 1948 or even 1939, and and how Korchuk was actually commissioned to do this, the sculpture. Well, it's a, it's a, you know, it's a circle. It's a circle. You know, Korchuk worked on Mount Rushmore for for a short time for Guts, with Guts and Borglum. Um, and but then he went back and he entered uh, the, the sculpture called Paderewski in the 1939 World's Fair in, in New York, won first prize, and the publicity from that caught the attention of Native American elders, who realized, well, here's a, here's a sculptor that uh, <clears throat> a very you know, very accomplished sculptor, worked on he's worked on carving mountains, he worked at Mount Rushmore. Um, here's the man that can carve a memorial to American Indians. So the white man will know the red man has great heroes also. <clears throat> if you were to pick maybe the top three things around this complex that, that we should check out, <clears throat> what, what, would those, what would those be? Well, you need to, you know, of course, the model that's behind us here, uh, Korchuk's plaster model of the mountain carving. Uh, continue on back, because you go back, there's the, there's the sculptor's uh, studio, where a lot of his works, uh, work, sculpt, pieces of sculpture are on display, many of which he completed before he came to Crazy Horse. You know, and then go back to what you were just talking about with being the cultural center and, and where the uh, artists and artisans are working. And, and then beyond that is the sculptor's workshop. Well, come to Crazy Horse, obviously because you have the chance to see the largest mountain carving, mountain sculpture in the world. Uh, and the progress that's being made on that massive sculpture. But then come to experience and, and, and take in and soak in all that is here from f that re is representative of, of Indian heritage and history and culture and a chance to learn. Thank you very much. Thanks very for joining welcome. us. Good to see you, John. You too.